Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video on the 330, 328F30. So I realized after a couple test fitting that this is off, and some of you guys did mention this is off, so this needs to move back a little bit more, which makes more sense because I don't know how that passes a crash bar. It doesn't make any sense to me. So we're gonna go ahead and just move that back. Keys Motorsports completely hooked this up, guys. Before I actually talk about Keys Motorsports and all that stuff on this car, I just wanna give a shout out to those of you guys who purchased a decal to support the build. So Scott Hanks, shout out to you, my guy. Brett Youngkin, shout out to you, thank you so much. Luke Powell, shout out to you. And Ahmed Hawaja. I don't know, if, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right. But shout out to you as well. Thank you guys so much for purchasing the decal. If you guys want to be shout out in the next video, make sure to check out the link down below. And uh, yeah. So box came right here and uh, this box contains some beautiful headlights that we have not unboxed. I'm gonna show you guys on video what these are in a second. But he's also sent us out some, uh, you know, some decals and some, I don't know, what these called, like tags? Tags. Some yeah. tags for your keychain tags or something. Super dope. So, I mean, I'm gonna probably keep one for myself, but I'm gonna give away all of these to you guys. So if you guys wanna get one of these, all you have to do is just comment down below your Instagram name and like the video, and I'll make sure to reach out to a few of you guys and just send it out. But yeah, that's so all you have to do is enter. Like the video and um, comment down below your Instagram, and you guys have a chance of winning these things. Again, huge shout out to Keys More Sports. So before we actually install the headlights, like I said, we're just gonna straighten this out, make sure that's where it needs to be. We're gonna plug in the sensors, plug in everything that needs to be plugged in, and then the headlights, because the headlights are gonna be covering up a lot of things. So headlights are gonna be last, but don't worry, it's gonna be in this video. And we're just gonna get everything finalized, even the hood latches. We're gonna install everything, so when the bumper comes in, we'll be able to slap that on and actually take it out for a spin. And uh, you know, all we have to worry about is the hood at that point. And then once you get the hood, we gotta paint match the car, obviously. And then we got a lot more mods coming to this car, like a whole body kit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. I wanna see the light. All right guys, so the hood latches are installed. My brother's gonna go ahead and test out if it's working. So can you pull it real quick, Dio? Oh yeah, right there. Pull it again. You guys can see, it's super hard because the hood's still open. Yeah, yeah, so if you look right here. Pull it again. Yeah, so the mechanisms are working. Let me go ahead and lock them, right? All right, try it. Yeah, was that easier? I was gonna use some safety scissors, guys. We're gonna go ahead and use the real knife right here. Oh boy, some instructions. Do we need that? Or will we just go Arab style? I don't know yet, we'll find out. See how these headlights are? I'm sure my brother's excited because obviously headlights changes the whole front end of a car. So, let's go ahead, see how that looks. Dude, look at the packaging on this thing. Damn. Oh, damn, you took care of it. What is this? More things to find out. All right, let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Dude, this is like a like an OEM headlight. This is like the OEM ones with the halo rings. I don't know if you guys are, you guys, okay, so there's the OEM ones and then there's the halogen ones, which are super ugly. These honestly look like the OEM ones because it even has like all this extra stuff for the ballast and everything. That's kind of crazy. So let's go ahead, get it out of the packaging. Try not lose this guy right here. Look at that. Yeah. That's good looking, right? Eh? Oh, 
Dude, it has a ballast and everything. This is like our, this is, I'm pretty sure these are, could be OEM headlights. I'm gonna have to reach out to Keith Motorsport to see if these are like the OEM expensive ones. Because I know if you guys wanna pick up these ones, they're like 1,500 on eBay. But I guess these are aftermarket, but like OEM styling. You got numbers on them like OEM. That's crazy. Oh, shout out to them, man, this looks crazy. Oh, here's the, here's where you get it out from. All right. Damn. Damn. Boy, you got me messed up. That is crazy. <laughs> what? Imagine this on your car, Dion. Damn. She just got like a thumbnail status or what? Should we honestly, we should put the headlights in front of the, guys, we're about to get the thumbnail real quick. We're about to get the thumbnail right now. This is a Chucky Beat production. All right guys, so you just realized this cable is ripped from guessing from the accident or something. So that's probably why we have an, I don't know if this is the airbag thing. It's probably why we have an airbag light. So we're gonna have to figure that out real quick. All right guys, so my brother goes down to AutoZone to get the solder that we need. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start working on the headlights. We do have to cut off the brackets that are already on there and put back the original housing. So uh, I'll show you guys that, like it's just pretty, basically, these are held down by zip ties and just cut them out. And then you put back the cap that it comes with. Pretty self-explanatory, comes with instructions. Uh, but I'm just trying to pull out the zip tie without breaking it right now. All right guys, so the connector right here, this is what, what, what was ripped. So we ended up removing it from the connector. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and strip this just a little bit. Connect these, solder them together, and hopefully that's all we need and we can put it back in the plastic housing. It is raining right now, so we gotta do this real quick and then I'll probably get to you guys when it stops raining. y'all this is day two of working on uh the f30 we got a lot of things assembled but it did start raining when we started working on the wiring the wiring is all sorted now um but we don't want to we didn't want to continue working while it's raining especially with the new headlights and it's open right now we didn't want to do any of that stuff so we're also missing the bulbs and we went down to our local auto zone they told us that it was like 48 dollars for a pair and we needed two pairs for the bulbs so that was like a hundred dollars. We're just like, what the hell? A hundred bucks for some bulbs. We went on Amazon, ordered some Phillips bulbs, which is, you know, Phillips is a pretty well-known brand for 40 bucks. Looks like my buddy's also ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put all the bulbs in the headlights, um, test them out, and then throw them in the car, and line up everything, and then hopefully we'll be ready for the bumper. I mean, that would be kind of sick, it'd be the last thing. And then we just gotta go pick up a hood, um, and then test drive this car, see how everything works out. Oh yeah, we also do need an intake. Other than that, as long as we get all that stuff together, we'll be able to finally drive this car. So these ended up the bowls you end up going with off Amazon. I'll have a link down in the description if you guys want these as well. Uh, crystal clear, you know, white headlight bulb so um, I think he's motorsports they sent us out bulbs but something happened so we're not too worried about it um, just shout out to them for sending the actual headlight you know bulbs is whatever um, it's all about the headlight itself let's just go ahead and put this bad boy together and uh, test it out All right, guys. So with these headlights, um, we got the turn signal bulb installed. We went ahead. And we got these from uh, AutoZone yesterday uh, for about I think like six dollars for both of them. And then we went ahead and got the two bulbs right here. I think this is the these are the halo rings, and then this is the daytime running light. I think I'm not too sure. Don't hold me to it. But there's two bulbs here, Phillips. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one, and then we're gonna go ahead and test fit these to see if they work. Well, all right guys, so we got the headlights all assembled with the bulbs and everything. Let's go ahead and plug them in and see if they work. Oh boy, already, damn. Already, my brother just turned it on and it's white, boys. That's actually really bright for during the day, dude. That's hella bright for during the day. So obviously daytime lighting lights did not turn on, but uh, that's, I don't think because the, the car is in accessory mode. He's gonna go ahead and put in accessory mode real quick. Okay, well none of the daytime running lights are working, which is better 
That means that, yeah, can you switch? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, but it's yellow. We bought white bulbs. Hey, everything works though. Everything works. That looks pretty beast. All right, guys, so obviously the bulbs are not straightened out correctly, but what do you think, dude? It looks amazing, dude, damn. So much better than the ones it came with, and obviously the ones it came with was destroyed. So that looks really good. We're gonna go ahead and mount them. So uh, when we get the bumper, you guys will get the first impressions when we slap on this M Sport bumper. But man, that looks good, right? Damn. That's so much better than stock, god damn. Wow, man, shout out to Keys Motorsports. Link down in the description, guys, if you want these guys. All right, guys, we're having a hard trouble putting the car in neutral for some reason. So anyways, we turn the, the wheels. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to assemble this headlight and try to get back there, put all the bolts, everything he needs to, and uh, we'll try our best on this side. We'll see how that one goes, but uh, just go ahead and put in the headlights already. All right, guys, so something that we realized also, um, luckily we have them on our old headlight brackets. So luckily we didn't throw these out, is these really sophisticated looking bolts for the headlight. So um, we're gonna go ahead and re reuse those. We have it on both of them. I'm um, gonna take them out and reuse those bolts because God knows how much those are, probably even 15, 20 bucks a piece because that's how BMW is when they charge me 20 bucks for a stupid screw on the steering wheel. All right guys, so it turns out this headlight is kind of a pain in the ass to put in without actually taking off the wind guard. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the wind guard, we're gonna take off the wheel, and then we're gonna install the headlight. All right guys, so it turns out this car has wheel locks, but luckily looked in the trunk, it looks like it's an OEM wheel lock, so that's kind of cool. Um, so that's actually pretty dope. I mean, now we can make sure the car, the car, the wheels will never get stolen from OEM specs. So that's kind of cool, it has a special spot for this in the trunk. Um, don't break into our trunk, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this wheel, take off the wind guard so we can finally install the headlight. All right guys, so we just got this headlight on. I don't really feel like it's the best alignment because there could have been something messed up with the fender or that rear clip that holds the headlight. We'll figure that out once we put on this headlight. But before we can get to that, we actually need to start up the car. It's so stupid about the newer cars. To put a car in neutral, you actually need power to the car, which means you at least need to start it up. You can't just put an accessory mode for some reason on this car. You have to actually have to start it up. So I know it's okay to start it up with no coolant because we're only starting up for a few seconds, but it's better safe than sorry. And we haven't tested the radiator yet since we got this new one. Uh, we'll use one, but new for us. Um, we're gonna go down to Walmart, uh, get some distilled water because we have some OEM BMW coolant, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just put that in the system, test out our radiator while just starting up the car for a little bit and getting the car to move back a little so we can start jacking up this side. Um, so my brother is gonna be installing the V-Base while I'm gone and the hood, I mean the, the wheel. So he's gonna put on the wheel, he's gonna try to install the V-Brace while I'm gone, but I'm gonna go get the water and everything right now. Chucky Beat Production. All right, guys. So we just put in uh, some coolant. Don't worry. That is the that is actually BMW coolant, just in a Walmart bottle. It's hard to explain why it's there, but just take my word for it. My boy hooked it up, and he had some extra coolant, so he just poured it in there and gave it to me in a water jug. And then I got some distilled water. We went 50-50. Obviously, we need to bleed the system, so we'll do that once uh, you know once we actually start driving the car. But right now, we're just gonna start up the car, put it in reverse, get it down the driveway just a little bit, so we can actually start working in this area right here. All right, guys. I think this is for you guys. It's gonna be one of the first times you're gonna hear it. So you guys are gonna hear it turn on, and we're just gonna push it back a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think it's my first time my brother's gonna be starting it. So now you're good, dude. Just go. I have no doubt in my mind. It's fine. We still got check engine, ABS. 
a lot of other things here, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to all the lights down the road. But uh, so far, so good. All right, guys, so we are missing. I don't know if you guys saw my brother put in the V-brace. I don't know if he recorded that for you guys. Um, what we did notice is this right here, I don't know if it has to have a bolt or something. You guys let me know what's supposed to be there if you know. It is moving a little bit, but that's because we don't have the two bolts that are supposed to be right there. We're missing two bolts here. We didn't put one there, and we didn't put one there. We just didn't put the ones on the top so we can get to it easily. So, yeah, we're missing about four bolts. We need to go down to BNW pickup. Headlight works really good. Uh, it lined up pretty well. I need to test fit the bumper and test fit the hood, and we can realign the headlight accordingly when we have everything. So yeah, this the headlights are not perfect, but we'll know once we have everything. Um, I think the headlights are actually on right now slightly. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead, remove the wheel, remove the Vanguard, and uh, put on this headlight as well. And uh, hopefully, this car should be looking pretty dang sexy to me, if you ask me. Get to work, Habibi. 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 Shabbat. All right, so unlike uh, us, you guys are probably removing your headlights if you're buying these from, uh, you know, aftermarket or from Keys Motorsports. You guys probably um, are wondering where all the bolts are. So the first thing else, you have to remove the Vanguard. It just makes life a whole lot easier instead of going through a little hole. Actually, I don't really think you can get to it without removing the Vanguard. Um, there's one bolt here, one bolt here underneath the headlight. And then um, there's one on the side, like it's gonna be right here. So you just gotta put your hand over here, unscrew this one, and it's obviously at this angle, not this, because you wouldn't be able to get to it. Uh, and then the rest of the two are on top. So we're just gonna go ahead and bolt all this down. It's kind of hard to show on camera. But remember, there's two screws over here, one over here on the side of it, and uh, pretty much you can work on the other two up here. This one right here connects to the bumper, and this one connects to the radiator support. So when you put it on, it's gonna connect right here, and it's gonna connect right here. Well, it's not gonna connect to it, but it's gonna be part of the bumper assembly. And uh, yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and install it, and we'll show you guys the bolts once you actually install it. So I'm happy to say the headlights are in. Alignment-wise, it's not perfect, but once we get the hood and once we get the bumper, we'll align everything how it's supposed to be. We have a slight issue with this fender. It's very, 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 very minor dent, but it's on the top somewhere and we can't really figure out exactly how to morph it. So we'll figure that out because obviously it's not really re worth replacing a whole fender that's painted over some very minor dent. I'm sure it can get repaired whether by us or by a shop. I'm sure we can figure it out. But anyways, the headlights line up pretty well. Um, it, I mean, it works beautifully. My brother's gonna go ahead and show you guys that one more time. I just wanna show you guys the front end and see how far it's come along. Like guys, if you honestly look at that, it's literally just called a bumper and done. It has everything OEM and uh, couldn't be more happy with the results, honestly. The, the crash bar, I mean the V-brace, you know, everything is there, even the little details, everything is there, all the wires are hooked up. Uh, we have an extra cable there for fog lights and the sensors for the front bumper. So once we get the bumper, we we'll are able to install the front sensors. Uh, but yeah, look at that, guys. Everything is looking great. We put a bag on the intake, of course, because we're still waiting for the intake box to come. Uh, once that comes, again, it's OEM. We're trying to keep everything OEM because I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this is the sole of model. So this does have warranty, so we're going to be able to at least drive this car with a peace of mind that if any issues with smog, BMW has to cover it. So if you guys buy a sole of model, that's the benefit of it. But of course, aesthetically, this car ain't gonna stay OEM. This car is this car is gonna look like a beast. Um, you know, of course with Keys Motorsport, shout out to them, giving us the whole body kit and everything. It's gonna look, you know, like an M Sport, but instead of an E90, it's gonna be an F30. So it's gonna be crazy. These headlights look like they're on even though they're off. Which is crazy, but you know. But without further ado, we're gonna show you guys the headlights one more time. Boy! 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 Oh, they can't see it that good on the camera, but in person, guys, it looks so nice. It's not. It, it, I mean, it doesn't justify, but it looks like a monster on camera. Obviously, you can, you can tell these headlights just ate up the hood. I mean, I sent, I sent a picture uh, to this to Keys Motorsports to asking him how the, how the alignment is going. I was probably throwing a picture right there. <laughs> He's like, it's great, it's, it's flawless. Um, yeah, so once we get the hood and bumper, guys, that sh we should be able to align the headlights accordingly, and then uh, you know everything else should be fine. And then after that, we'll get it all paint matched and go on with the rest of the body kits and all the you know mods and stuff. Super excited for that. All right, guys, so that concludes the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, let's get this video to 400 likes. 400 likes, it would get a part five ASAP. I think part five or part six, I'm not sure. But anyways, we'll get that out ASAP for you guys. If you guys are enjoying, how much we're packing these videos. What I, I used to do it where you know we, we do like one or two things a video, but you know what? We're just trying to at least give you guys a full video, a full day's worth 
It's about six right now, and I'm shocked it's not super dark. So that's kind of crazy. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay humble and uh, peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.